all these, but this is our several sort of general principles that we use when we look at markets. Um, but I think the one thing that I want to just highlight here first is line number four, which is it's, it's really important for people to stop carrying a Lehman Brothers hammer, okay? And what I really mean by that is we all are wired to have a cognitive bias, okay? And what it just means is our brains, when they see something, they're always trying to interpret it for actually self-preservation purposes to something that we all know. And because we, that's what happens to our brains, we tend to think something might be there that's not. And I'm going to give you some examples. So first is this idea of called the law of the instrument. I'm not sure if you heard it. Or it's also called Maslow's hammer. But it's the idea that if uh, someone gives you a hammer, you're just going to be looking for nails. And uh, that means if someone's lived through the GFC in 2008, the great financial crisis, they're assuming everything's a Lehman Brothers event. And that played out a few weeks ago, as you guys remember. Um, you know, we were saying during, this, is, this was from two weeks ago, I didn't put the date on here, but when the Evergrande debacle and the debt, potential debt default was sort of making the headlines, there were a lot of people who were experts saying this was a, the Lehman event and it was gonna trigger another crisis. And we just put out a tweet just saying, be wary of Maslow's hammer. Too many people carry doomsday hammers. And as you can see uh, in our little gif, you know, that hammer is blowing up on them. Ouchie. Um, but here's another example of a cognitive bias. This picture looks like a color picture, right? I mean, you guys look at it and you can see blue and yellow and red, like someone's wearing a yellow t-shirt, uh, green t-shirts, right? It is actually a black and white picture with a grid. See, but what happens is those little lines make you fill in the entire shirt. Instead of someone saying that's a gray shirt with blue lines, they see a blue shirt. That's how our brains work. We see a little bit of something and we assume that's the whole picture. So I think it's super careful that when you look at the, in the market, a heat map, just be aware that you could be applying your own bias to what you're seeing. That's how you know, we emphasize to our team of 29 research people at Fundstrat, don't carry Maslow's hammer.